Yo guys, it's sorry, you already know that today we are packed playing some more Tangaropa V3. Today, we are doing the investigation for the murder of Rantaro Amami, the first victim in this game, which, man, I still cannot believe. I feel like I called it at some point, but then I think I retracted it. And, uh, yeah, I, I was on board with one thing. In terms of who the killer is, I'm not sure. So here, I have conflicting thoughts. Between the last time I played this and this time, I really, I really just got a sneaking suspicion that, like, like... If this game does me dirty and Shuichi is the one that, like, did it, because, like, in my mind, I was like, oh, Shuichi, like, left and could have set up a different trap to kill, um, uh, Rantaro and then, like, make it, like, like, frame somebody else because, like, you know, he left for a little bit to check what's going on and then came back and then all of a sudden, you know, the stuff with Rantaro happens. And so, like, that would be crazy. But now I don't know if that's going to happen because when I opened up the game, I sort of took notice to, like, the, the Steam, like, homepage thingy when you open up a game and the the logo has you know it has uh, Kaide and like Shuichi off to the side like big and like way more pronounced than everybody else um and then like Monokuma in the middle and then like all the other characters are like off to the right kind of like in a circle or whatever so like if Shuichi is just like the first killer that would be weird to feature him so prominently on like the the page there so now I'm thinking that I might not be so if that's the case, I don't really know who else. That would be crazy if I got it backwards and Angie's actually like the killer. But I don't know. We are going to do some investigating and we're going to see what happens. I don't know if the entire investigation will be this episode or if it'll take longer than that. I don't know the sort of pace that this game goes at. So I am very excited to start putting some clues together. We'll gather some clues and then put them together and see if we can figure out who, uh, who done it, essentially. But I, going into today, I would say Shuichi is my prime suspect, but... I really think that it could be anybody, and now I'm starting to think that Shuichi might not be, because he might be a more important character down the line. Well. So we'll see. But he's got the, um, specifically right now, he went to go get the pictures that the uh, security stuff took. So we can, you know, hopefully catch the mastermind in the act of opening the door or whatnot. I have a feeling that it's not going to be that simple, uh, but that is currently where we are now. Uh, he went to go get the pictures. So we are going to hopefully look at them. Uh, it was hard moving the camera that Kaede set up. Uh, she really taped it down well. Because well, I really didn't want that camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Here, it's these three cameras. Uh, uh, now we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow me to perform that task. That's amazing. Wow, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? <laughs> she got to tamper with it in some way. I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me. I'll develop the photos so you bastards can focus on the investigation. If you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't put it into our... She ignored my objection, walked up to Shuichi and took the cameras from him. Now I'm worried that they're going to get tampered with in some way. Oh. I'm a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Uh. Hey, give those back. Leave it to me. No need to worry. No, but I'm also a strong, sensual woman. Please, I want them. <laughs> we all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. All right. No, I, I feel like the game is probably going to be pretty good at, like, not messing with the photos. So, but I, I'm sure that they've been messed with in some way to not get a clear picture of the of the person that we want to, uh, that did the murder or whatever. Uh, wait, give these give the cameras back. It was pointless to, to yell at her. I'm not a fan you left as swift, swiftly as the wind. Oh, ah, there she goes. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry, I was being careless. Probably okay. She said she developed photos, then give photos back. That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. Cause Atua is watching over us. It's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. Uh, we just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey. Uh, Kaede, I have a proposal for you. Is that all right? If it's all right with you, could we keep working together during the trial, like we're doing now? Huh? Michi? I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I, I want to help you. Shuichi. Of course, with you on my side, it'll be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so I don't care about this butchy stuff, so let's just get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually... It takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Why? In other words... We let the culprit work by themselves. They might try and destroy evidence, right? Uh -huh. Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us... <laughs> yeah. 
each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. Do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kurumi. That's right. It's not something you should uh, be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. And I'm, I'm still very interested in, as to who did this and why, and why they didn't just take the free get out of uh, jail free card and that they're going through this process. And I, I'm i very interested to see how that gets explained. Um, would it be crazy if like Rentaro did something like this to himself? Like, I don't know if that's even possible, but that would be a way for someone to commit a murder. Us still have to go through the, the process and then uh, that's why nobody said anything because nobody here did actually do it. So uh, who knows? That's actually possible because he was saying that he was going to do something about it, right? Yeah, I don't know. What if he is the mastermind and he's the killer and he's the victim? That'd be crazy. Um, his ultimate question mark is the ultimate mastermind. Uh, once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. All right, we need to gather some clues. All right, so... Uh... Yeah, let's... What can we... I want to go investigate, like, the body. Which is around the corner, right? Do we have to talk to people first? Let's talk to Shuichi. Um, Kai, did you remember uh, what we saw when we came in here? Yeah, yeah I remember. Um, well, we saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm. No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Did you move the bookcase to reveal the hidden door? Ramble, ramble, ramble! Uh, take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit, oh, it does shut by itself. Okay. Oh, it closed on its own. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closed after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Moving bookcase has been added to the truth bullets. All right. Wait, did the bookcase close itself after you enter the hidden door? Uh, oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rentaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? Ah, uh, how do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Did you move the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more? Oh, is the dust still there? That would determine if someone's inside or not. Then Alright, let's see. We landed to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? Ah, oh, the dust is still there, so nobody went in. You're right. Looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind uh, didn't hide here. Mm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through the store. Um. And the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was Rentaro himself. That makes sense. No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else is hiding here. Card reader dust? Okay. We're probably going to be able to uh, use that to refute somebody who who tries to uh, claim that the, the killer went through the door. I think they're, the mastermind is the culprit. Um, uh, so we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. When the killing came that way too. Hmm. We shall see. Uh, moving ladder... Moving ladder, I used to reorganize the books on top of the bookcases. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Good to know. Um, weirdly enough, I don't actually really like the investigation mode uh, that much. I feel like I just sort of like doing it this way. Um, do I just talk to everybody? Miu, do you have anything to say? Since these are like your cameras and stuff? Don't talk to me, crotchet. I'm fucking busy. Uh, Miu, uh, continue ignoring us while you fiddle with the controller. What's that controller for? Da -da -da -da, it's a prone. Drone? Um, I don't mean to butt in the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually, it was a prone. Uh, it teamed up with the rest of the Gangland Alliance to destroy humanity. I'm sure that's a reference to something I don't know. I have no idea what she's talking about. Then... But wait a second, the controller is. <laughs> uh, hey, get it, ditchies! She laughs obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Huh. I feast your eyes. Oh. Drone. 
Okay, now it's a drone instead of a prone. I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. No, I also don't know what that means. I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for. So I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. Oh. From there. I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Oh, that's nice. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. Smart. <laughs> Very smart, but I actually think it'll be helpful. Uh, drafting a floor plan with photos? That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way! Well, the pro problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone taking pictures with it. Jeez. Shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bad. I can't do shit about that, so just call me Tiny Tits and shut up. Oh, Sh shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. <laughs> udders? Udders? What do you mean, what did you do? You know exactly what you did. Actually, You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. <laughs> yeah, me is kind of pretty easy to see right through. Uh, I, Do we just talk to the other people? Because I don't feel like I can move to the other side of the room unless I come in from the other way. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave us is part of it, and so is that strange music. Oh yeah. That's terrible. Look at that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful, I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Uh, anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Emotional video background music, okay, has been added to the truth bullets. Interesting. Well, uh, do you have anything, Kurumi? Uh, Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? What? Then. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. Sure, I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive; it was to kill everyone here. That's also possible. Everyone. That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Um. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is, all, is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. Then. We cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Uh, okay. All right. So there's more. There's more here. Mysterious globe, nothing to do with the incident. Uh, rear sliding door. This is the rear door. It's for this door from the stairs and it leads to the hallway. Uh, by the way, this is a sliding door. See, it opens when you slide it. Yes, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I think Rintaro entered through this door? Uh, um... I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the monocubs. Mm. You're right, we'll just have to wait. I do feel like that would solve a lot of issues. Uh, moving bookcase, I think we already looked at near the body. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I, I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rentaro's body? Uh, um, yes, we want to find clues. We have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaida, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. Uh, my mind was set and I started to walk toward Rentaro's body. There we go. Now I'm sure we'll find a bunch of clues. The last time I saw Rentaro, he was alive and well. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Well, how do you do that? There's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talked to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. That's just for Rantaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him, and so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am sort of a detective after all. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Uh, right. Um, alright. I want to look at the ball here. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... Shop ball, could it be... 
Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. Hmm. It's a murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. Shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Okay. So that's there. Uh, I guess we'll look at the body. Um, I know we uh, we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blood force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. It must be the fatal wound. Um, so we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, yes, okay. for now. Shuichi then uh, stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, Check um, what he has on his person. There might be a clue. We're going to do this. We have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede, pull yourself together. Hmm. Rotaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. Monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a card key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Um, and Rotaro really wasn't the mastermind. Okay. Hmm. He was the mastermind. He wouldn't have come here without the card key. I think he didn't know that that door was there, but might have had a seeking suspicion and just kind of found it. But I don't know. So, with what we know now, this is most likely, uh, the most likely possibility. Why well, was Rintaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Alright, we got Rintaro's belongings. Is there anything else? Are you okay? And are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Well, I guess we're done here. I have a feeling we might have to go check out the warehouse. I think it's bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely that he's not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh, I guess he has something to do with what Rantaro mentioned earlier. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game, it's about any of the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Any of the game itself. Maybe, I really think, maybe he thinks that if he's the killer and the victim, that everybody w would get to just leave or something? But I, I don't know. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library just like we did. Huh? What? Uh, um... Might have come to the same conclusion we did that the mastermind would come here. Um. You mean he had the same idea as us? No way, he should have told us. But I mean, you didn't tell him. Uh... We could have worked together. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. I probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede, but Rontaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand, he firmly pulled me to my feet. Remember, Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. Uh, he's right, I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks, I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Shuichi is right, we can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Okay. Oh, no, there's there's still more here? Front bookcase? Tons of books are crammed in the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. Uh, nothing's changed. Uh, the books that you stacked up haven't moved. Even the ones that stack up to keep people from going through the vent. Yeah, those have been left alone. Stack books? Okay. I guess we should probably also talk to, uh, to Ryoma. Well? You're the ultimate detective, then you got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? Uh... Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But, but with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? Hmm. And let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix the twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. 
I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. Oh. Interesting. Okay. That, that seemed to be like a warning. That's very interesting. Um, after this whole sequence of events, I love that the drone is just like flying away. Can I smack it out of the air? That would be really funny. Um, after all of these events happening, I would now be very surprised if Shuichi was actually the killer because he's helping way too much. Uh, I'm missing something else. Really? Uh, rear sliding door. We got that moving bookcase. We got near the body. The ladder. We've talked to everybody. The vent, maybe? The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. And we were keeping watching the classroom this event leads to. I don't think the coffee came in or out through here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, library event. Alright, that should be everything. Really? What? Uh the front doors? Uh it's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through this door before we discovered Antara's body. Hmm. We're in the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then when we ran over, That's true. we found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Mm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's... When we see the pictures after the model comes to develop them, uh, that'll be clear. Uh... I guess all we can do is wait. Okay. A anything else? Really? What more is there? I'm pretty sure... I've looked at everything, uh, except for this monitor. Time limit to start the killing game, it almost expired, then the countdown stopped and that obnoxious noise went away too. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit had expired. Um, well, let me go back over near the body. Maybe there's some more clues over there. Um, so there's the, the body, there's the ball, there's... Anything? I don't see anything else. Talk to Shuichi again? Uh, with the bookcase, we moved away from the hidden door to the spot. Why do you do that? The face his body being moved. Alright, so that's all the same stuff. Anything more about his body? I'm, I'm still very confused. Uh, Shuichi, can, can you tell me about Rentaro's body again? Oh, I guess I have to look at it again. Yeah, the probable cause of death is the deep wound on the back of Rentaro's head. Positively, he was struck uh, by some kind of blunt weapon. In Rantaro's pockets, I found his room key and the student handbook monopad. pad. He doesn't have any kind of uh, card key on him, which is why I believe it's safe to say that Rantaro's not the mastermind. That's all I know right now. Why is Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Uh, okay. I'm now becoming a little worried because I've definitely investigated everything. And I'm still not able to leave the room. Do you, I don't know, do you have like the diagram yet? Do I need to just double check? Uh, shots out of focus again. Your fucking face is pointing the lens, bitch. Or play might be useful for the investigation, but it might not be finished in time for the class trial. I guess I won't expect too much. Oh, gosh. Am I going to get stuck? I've already looked at the globe. Looked at the vents. I've looked at... I've looked at everything. Right? I, I've looked at everything. Oh no, I've already reached the part where I'm gonna have to like look something up, and I hate trying to Google anything about Danganronpa because that leads to spoilers. Uh. Uh. I don't. I don't really know. Uh. Moving bookcase. I already looked at the moving bookcase, right? Moving bookcase is closed. Got set up a security sensor on top of the bookcase, right? Okay. Yeah, I should still be there. Let me check. Should you climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase? Remember. Still here. Uh, I should take it down now. Uh -oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can turn it off? Oh, no. Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on my way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to alert them. I see. See, smart thinking. Okay, the receiver on Shuichi. Alright, so that was the thing that I needed to see. Oh my gosh, that took me so long to, to figure it out. But thankfully I got it on my own. And I think we've investigated the entire library now. Um, I don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. 
The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those, then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Mm. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rintaro was killed. If that's the case, then who should we question? Uh, the people that went downstairs. The six people that went down to the basement with Rintaro. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Hmm. They should have been in the game room, along with Rintaro. Let's ask them about what happened here, yeah. there. Hey, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like we've talked to everybody here. We didn't explicitly get alibis, but I'm sure it's fine. Unless the game says that I need to get them, uh, I won't worry about it. But we can go right to the game room and see how many people are chilling out here. Hopefully everybody, but I feel like that's not going to be the case. Nope, literally just Maki. Um. Uh, Maki, you were in the game room when Rentaro was killed, right? Hey. What were you all doing down here? Rentaro was with you, right? Hey. Am I a suspect? Uh. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Hmm. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Because. Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? You trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose. Got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. Uh, she just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. Hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But, but uh, why are you all here in the first place? It was Kaito's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, yeah, because, like, Kaito is, like, the leader. Gonta, big strong man. Maki definitely looks like she could fight. Tenko is literally a fighter. Himiko knows magic. Angie has a 2 on her side. And Rintaro, uh also just kind of looks strong. So, yeah, yeah, fair enough. But I'm, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. <laughs> Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to a 2 would be useful. Let's go! I'm so good at this. <laughs> What about you, Maki? Why did uh, he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, yeah, you probably know how to fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can see it. That's it? Jeez. That does sound like something Kaito would do, though. But, but why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Uh, beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Hmm, I don't know. Kaito, that seems a bit uh, suspicious. Uh, um... What was Rintaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kaito and Tenko went looking for him so we could finish the, meet the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around. Ooh. Huh, what are you guys doing here? Oh, never mind. Time's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. That is definitely uh, welcome to join. Um. Then did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? No. Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Ooh, uh-oh. Okay. So, Angie, Himiko, and Maki should be clear from this. Huh? Gonta wasn't with you guys? Gonta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Hmm. He's in the AV room by himself? Ew. Sus sus suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um, what other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Okay, I have a feeling... Gonta might be our first, like, red herring suspect. I don't think he's going to be the one that did it. Um, but I think they're going to try to put some evidence that he could have done it and then ultimately change it to somebody else. Okay. Um, is there anything? You can get some monocoins out of this. I'm seeing if there's, like, a, a hidden monokuma or anything. Other things to smack out of the way. All right. Not that I can tell. Oh, there's still things here to investigate? Interesting. I didn't realize that. Oh, what, the sliding door in the back? Shuichi. Shuichi, the AV room is that room in the back, right? Oh, that's why I can't leave. I thought be? it was a separate room. Uh, Kaida, have you never been in there before? No? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. Okay, okay. Oh, so here's, like, everybody else. Wait. Hey, Gone to not murder anyone. Come on, man. I told you, we're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No, it's him already. He's got the face of a killer. No way. Don't just go to buy his outside. On inside, go to gentleman. Hey. 
What's going on here? Oh, hey there, Caddy. We're just trying to ask him. It's, tell us why we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? I'm pretty sure you said no. Yeah. Or are you not not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? Yeah. Go to not not uh uh. <laughs> it's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um. I think your questions are the problem. <laughs> what do you mean? He goes. What questions are flawless? Everybody else is the problem. Uh, then I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. <laughs> totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math and work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, Himiko is a national treasure. I swear, if she kills somebody, I'm gonna be so sad. You know? Uh, hey Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. Uh, you were in the basement uh, AV room alone this whole time, right? Mm. But what were you doing here alone? Um. Gonta happy to be invited, invited to meeting, but Gonta think he uh, not be much help because he's not smart. Bugs are. So Gonta in here alone watching Bug Movie. Huh? What? How does that help? Honest. Bug Movie for Gonta with fight. Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But, you know. but why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? With my magic. If you don't answer honestly, I will change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? Uh, Gonta no can become girl Gonta, then Gonta never become gentleman. Jeez. Himiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that all right? Uh, Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta, Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can will up the fight. Or fill up with the fight. Honest. That ain't really. Gonta just want to protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys are not going to believe Gonta, huh? Because Gonta is so big and scary looking, huh? Whoa. Whoa, calm down. You're really making a, a scary face. How can this be? Because Gonta feels so useless. Oh, gosh. Hmm. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But, I mean, is there a way out of the AV room to get to the library? Because if not, then everybody that was in the game room should be able to attest that Gonto was here the whole time. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonto's alibi. I feel like they're not going to do it, but could we not just get everybody to swipe their card reader at the door? Since we're now, like, in an investigation, we could easily just be like... If you're not willing to do this, then, you know, you're suspicious. And uh, somebody's card reader might have to open that door, right? I'm just saying. Now might be a situation for, for uh, to, to call everyone together to try that out. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, so what, we need to talk to Gonta and verify his alibi? Gonta. Gonta watching Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma. But Gonta need focus to fill up with fight, so Gonta lock door. That sounds like a lie. If you don't tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. Huh? Hey, if Gonta naked in public, then Gonta never become gentleman. Uh, Here we go, shut up. I'm saying ridiculous things. Honest. Gonta just won't protect everyone, really. Why? I don't want to believe Gonta. Gonta feels so pathetic. Okay, and then should we just like talk to everybody? Get their alibis all squared away? Colbert is definitely Gonta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. No. No, it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Yeah, yeah really? Even so, it's definitely Gonta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. Mm. Uh, no. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? Oh, I hate that Himiko's gonna be the character that just, like, is so adamant that one person's a killer and she's gonna be wrong every single time. What a pain. Investigating is a pain. Gonta's suspicious no matter how you look at it. it? Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all I care. It's impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. But you can threaten to use it to take Gonta's clothes off or change him into a girl. Okay. <laughs> Stop being so lazy and put some actual effort into solving this. And Kaito, what do you have to say? Damn. He's like, I can't believe that happened right next door to a strategy meeting. Hey. Kaito, can you tell me more about the strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? Huh? What am I, one of your suspects now? Um, no, that's not what I'm... Nah, that's nah, actually you're suspicious of me. Of course. But I'm in the culprit, I swear it on the universe. Got it. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Yeah. Okay. Then well, now that we have the chance, let's look back at the entire incident together. Kaido went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. Alright then, where should we start? Hmm. After Kaido uh, and I set up the cameras, we were watch keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed and then we saw you guys go down to the basement. Hey. When did you start asking people to go with you? So... Uh, I don't remember the exact time, but I asked them one by one and we all went there together. Okay. That's when we saw you. Uh huh. You, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rentaro. Now that I think about it, the monitor started going off just before that. Maybe music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Um, I want to confirm what you've told me so far. 
Everyone went to the game room for this meeting, and no one went to the library, right? Yeah, we went straight to the game room, but right after we went inside, Dante went uh, into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah, yeah Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantaro left to go to the bathroom, but we thought it'd be bad if uh, the meeting stopped, so me and Tenko went to get him back. And that's when we met up with you guys. Okay. Okay. So, Kaito and Tenko were together, so they should be able to confirm each other. So, that could clear both of them, unless there's some time where they split up. Uh, we had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And, uh, right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So, after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. But you know... uh, I can't guarantee that Gonto was in here the whole time. So, so, we can't confirm Gonto's alibi yet. Hey. Uh, the library's rear entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. Jeez. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Rantaro's dead body. That's just about how it went. Mm. We didn't learn any new information, though. On, We're not cleared of suspicion yet, huh? No. I don't worry, you're not a likely suspect. Dumbass. That's not something a detective should say. Huh? What? Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rantaro will have died for no reason. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Chuichi. Yeah. Uh, anyway, if you notice something or remember anything, let us know. Of course. I'm not planning on uh, leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate my own way. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is another door. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Is this connected to the hallway? You're right. Seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. Tried to open it, but... Oh, it's locked? Huh? That's weird, it doesn't open all the way. Um. Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the inside, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No. No, no, if it's gone, it doesn't matter if the door is stuck. Shh. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. Yeah, you can eat this door for breakfast. Gonta never do that. Gonta not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. Huh? Uh, you think Gonta can eat this door? <laughs> yes. No. Uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? This dust piled up uh, on the railing of the door. The sliding door hasn't moved in a while. Mm. So then he just forced his way through the gap. Oh yeah, he definitely did that. Mm. That's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball to fit through. I guess an arm could fit through as well, if it were thin enough. It's magic. So then he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps the fat off. Wait. Go to know, can you use magic? Okay. Oh, I can use magic. So you went through the door and used magic to, to kill Rantaro? <laughs> These two never have anything important to say. What's the matter? No. Uh, nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered. Also, look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. The store and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um, mm, so what? That's... I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning how? Oh boy. Sliding door. Oh no, is there a way that somebody could have used it? Because I think the only person that could have used it is Gonta. Ugh. I think we've investigated everything here too. Mm -hmm. so what should we do next? Hey. Now let's ask uh, the others some questions. There are still people we haven't talked to. Uh, this would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already know who the mastermind is. Hmm. That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to finish the investigation on the next time. We have more people to talk to. I wonder if we'll have to look at the warehouse um, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, as of right now, I, I think they're going to set up Gonta as like the, the, the red herring. I don't think he's going to be the one that actually did it. I... W I don't know who my prime suspect would be. I guess my prime suspect is Rantaro himself. That in some way he killed himself to be both the, the killer and the victim to see if that would somehow end the killing game. Um, which I don't think it is, but I could see that why he would think that. So that's my leading guess. I I like 50% trust Shuichi, but he does have the means to sort of manipulate the surroundings to frame somebody else and get away with it. So if it turns out that everything that he's been doing is just like an act and he's actually just like evil or something, um, I could see that as well, but I'm starting to feel that's less likely, but I don't want to dismiss it as a possibility. Uh, outside of that, I really have no idea, but I'm, it's starting to sound like everybody that was down here is like not connected, although it has to be, because like who else would have, I don't know, I don't know. We'll, we'll do, we'll get some more clues and I'll, I'll continue to expand upon my thoughts uh, once we have all the information. 
and hopefully we can see these pictures and uh, see, I don't know, if they give us anything. Uh, but that is going to do it for now. So hopefully you all have enjoyed. If so, let me know, and I'll see you all next time. So until then, peace out.